Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a new one in my regret series. And this is actually coming from a comment that came in on my last video, my regret series. And it said, would you do a video on makeup you regret forgetting about? <laughs> and I thought, oh wait, that sounds like a good time. So I did recently move from Iowa to Vegas. So during that time I had a lot of makeup packed up. So some of these products are products that I forgot about because of my move. Some are just forgotten old favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I am very excited to do this video and I did just do a video in my regret series. It was makeup I don't regret buying or my top 10 beauty purchases of 2021. And that's where the comment came in at and I thought, I don't really wanna to wait to do another regret video. I wanna do this one right now. So I can also link my regret playlist down below and I think that this is gonna be a really fun one to add into the rotation. So um, before we jump in, let me show you my Vegas OOTD. Step over my dog who's laying on my feet. So here is the OOTD today. I just have this little two piece from Laura's Boutique. I thought it was really cute and with the holiday, I thought it was like fun and festive and that's what we are rocking today. Um, I did do well, just a slight bit of filming on this look. I am using the new e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have a first impression on my TikTok, which is by Samantha March. It's probably gonna go up on my Instagram also, which is March Beauty Word, if you wanna check it out. And then the eye look that I did, um, I do have this exact eye look, a tutorial on my Instagram Reels also, using the Patrick Ta palette. I always link all of my makeup down below. But let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, some are because of the move, and like when I finally got here and started to unpack and get into a new routine, I was like, oh wait, like how did I forget that this was a favorite of mine? Some are just forgotten loves. So let's jump in. Uh, one of the first products actually, I mentioned this in my ranking all of my bronzers video. So that video has gone live. I rank everything from my least favorite to my top favorite in my full bronzer collection. And I mentioned the Jouer bronzer duo. And I was like, where, how, what, how, hmm? What happened here? How did I forget about this? Because when I did my bronzer ranking last year, this came in second place and somehow I managed to just like completely forget about it. I have gone more in the direction of cream and liquid products these days, which probably has something to do with it. But still, I really like the Jouer Bronzer Duo. I am wearing it today um, mixed in with that e.l.f. putty bronzer because things didn't go the best. I definitely needed to top it with a powder bronzer. And I was like, I am going into that Jouer. Like I am keeping this out. I'm keeping this front and center because I really thought I was going to hit pan on this side of the bronzer. It has a pretty large dip in it. And I am back to like, I'm going to, I'm going to try to make that happen. So I definitely regret that I forgot about this one and I feel bad. Another product that I have on today, this is one that I just, I just kind of forgot about. I don't really have a good reason i don't think i just kind of forgot and then when i got here and i like slowly started to open my bags and my boxes and i started to pull makeup out this was a foundation that i stumbled across and i was like i haven't used that in a while like i'll just use it real quick and then i immediately was like wait why did i i don't understand why did i stop using this one what happened here this is from dior and it's their forever skin glow i really like dior complexion products i don't know if you guys have ever heard of this um one product it's called the uh Dior Powder No Powder happens to be a favorite of mine. I don't speak on it much, I don't talk about it much, I don't promote it much, but it does happen to be a favorite powder of mine. Um, also the Dior Backstage Face and Body, like that foundation has been a favorite of mine since I purchased it. There was another one from Dior that I also really enjoyed and now it was like Dior Forever, what was it like, it had like a really weird name, like Dior Forever Dior Forever. <laughs> Is what I, I remember it had a weird name, but this is the forever skin glow and this is beautiful Like I said, it's what I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it so much recently and I'm like How did I forget about this product? I definitely regret that. It's a nice medium coverage. It's still really lightweight uh, I think the wear time on it is great. It gives this nice glow I do have more dry skin since moving to Vegas So I like that it gives me a little bit more of that glow and then of course paired with the Dior powder no powder It's like everything's great. So Dior is pricey. I bought this one myself too. And I, I mean, I've bought all my Dior products myself. I, I, I somehow have not caught the attention of Dior yet. 
I'm gonna need someone to get on that because I don't understand how that's a thing. But I've bought all the Dior products myself and even though they are more expensive, especially their complexion products, I'm really impressed with. I do have the shade 2.5N and this does have SPF 35, I believe. Yes, this has SPF 35 in it. Next up, this is a product that I forgot about because of my move because I got it like right before um, my actual move, but even just starting to pack up because my moving truck came two weeks before I actually moved. So I had to have like the majority of my stuff packed up and I had just gotten this and I spoke really highly about it in a makeup monthly, really enjoyed it. And then once it got packed up, I just, you know, kind of like out of sight, out of mind. And once again, as I slowly started to unpack and I found this spray, I was like, wait, 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 wait. How did I forget about this spray? Because I so, so enjoyed it. This is from Benefit and this is the Professional Super Setter. And I had said when I reviewed it, I was like, I was a little bit surprised because, you know, it's a makeup spray. And while I do think they're important and I do pretty much use them on the daily, it's usually not one of the most exciting products. So it can kind of be like, uh, eh, you know, okay. But I think that this is a really good one, especially for longevity. It really kind of locks everything in place and makes everything stay. So I had just kept using my Urban Decay All Nighter. That was one that I found right away after I moved. So I kept putting that on because now being in the Vegas heat, like I really want to make sure that my makeup isn't melting off my face and everything. But this is also another really great option. So I was kind of bummed that I forgot about it for a hot second there, but it's back. It's back out. <laughs> a couple different lip products. I feel a little bit ashamed about this, especially the one, because it's like a big, big favorite of mine for a long time. But once again, I feel like just with the moving process, it's sometimes it's just easy to forget about things. <laughs> it's just easy to forget about things, okay? But there was a lipstick that I, I kind of spaced a little bit. It's from Charlotte Tilbury and it's very Victoria. Like, I think one of the reasons too is because I've gotten so into gloss recently that I reach for so many glosses. I'm really loving lip oils. Sigma just came out with a new one. I'm like wearing them all of the time that I'm not going for my matte lips quite as much. So I just haven't been reaching, but I love Fairy Victoria. It's been a favorite shade of mine for such a long time. It's in the matte revolution of the Charlotte Tilbury line. Just a favorite lipstick in general. Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite, favorite brands for lip products, lip liners, lipsticks, like she just does it so, so well. But I mean, if you've been around my channel for a while, you've heard me talk about the Very Victoria so much. It's the lipstick that I have on today. I just love it. So when I finally unearthed it from one of my makeup bags, I was like, when's the last time I wore Very Victoria? <laughs> a lip liner, this is from another girlfriend of mine. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. So. I, when I was packing, I left out uh, my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners because I really do, I really do like her lip liners. So those stayed out with me. I think Mac Worrell stayed out with me too, which is what I have on for my lip liner today. And then when I got here, I had like a whole set of ColourPop lip liners and I really, really like their lip liners too. So I pulled out that set and I was just grabbing a bunch of different pencils from ColourPop. And then I was going through one of my bigger makeup bags the other day and just trying to like organize things and take, th take things out. And this lip liner was like wedged at the very bottom and I was like, what is wrong with me? This is the Pat McGrath contour lip liner. This is a beautiful lip liner. I really like Pat, Natasha, and Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. And if you don't know me, those are all like my three closest friends. They're like my ride or dies, the people that I can count on for anything. In my mind, that's who they are to me. So yes, but I did mention in a past video, I was like, I, you know, I, I like all of these, these lip liners. And I started um, a new series up again on my channel, which is a beauty battle where I take two products that are really similar to each other and that I really like. And I put them head to head and I tell you which one I think that you should buy. Like if you are only getting one of them. And I said, I'm going to put Charlotte, Pat, and Natasha, their lip liners, all three of them are gonna go in my next beauty battle, which is gonna be one of the next videos that I post because now I know so many of you are excited to see this battle, the uh, Sigma Ambiance against the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette, which is what I have on my eyes today. So I'm really excited to do that video. But I was thinking about it too because I had just unearthed this one and I was like, how did I forget about Pat McGrath? Honestly, their lip liners all kind of remind me of each other, but I think they're really good. They're very smooth. They're very easy to work with. They're very, very long wearing. A contour is, once again, it's just a beautiful shade. Oh, I didn't even swatch these. So here is, this is the contour lip liner. So it's just, you know, just nice and nude. And then I know I said I have very Victoria on, but here is 
a swatch of Very Victoria. So just, you know, my kind of tones, my kind of shades, but I like, I feel like I should send wine, maybe like a fruit basket to Charlotte and Pat. This is another one I definitely forgot about because of the move. It just, you know, that it just happened. Um, but this is a setting powder and this is from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. This is a great setting powder. It is a beautiful setting powder. And when I was moving, the only powder that I left out, is that right? I was gonna say the only powder I left out was the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm pretty sure, I don't think I left out a loose powder. Because when I was moving, I wasn't wearing makeup, I was driving across the country, like I wasn't wor like I wasn't filming, I wasn't, I, that's not where my focus was, was my makeup, so I didn't pack a ton of stuff. I do have a video on my road trip makeup bag, so I can link it, and then we can all verify if I'm like lying to you right now. Because I want to say I had a loose powder out, but now I'm like, I'm like, what loose powder did I have out? Like I... I don't remember um, but this one when I found it in my makeup bag I was like oh because I just keep using it's probably another reason I just keep using my Dior powder no powder <laughs> like I just keep going back to that one but this is also really beautiful on the under eyes again I mostly use the Charlotte Tilbury for that reason but this is a beautiful beautiful powder it has like this really nice scent to it also but it's very like velvety smooth silky smooth kind of feeling and it's just a good one so when I found it I was like hmm Again, how did I forget you? I have an eye product and I feel like I kind of forgot about this one, mostly just because of makeup preferences, but now my makeup preferences have switched and so I brought this one back out and I use it all of the time. This is from Sigma and this is the Eye Base and Bubbly. This is such a beautiful product. So I use this as an eyeshadow. They do also have um, matte formulas of this one too. This one is just very, very shimmery and beautiful but there's also matte ones and you can use it as an actual like eye base eye primer um but bubbly is just a favorite shade of mine because just look how gorgeous it is and then i'll just put it all over the lid on the inner corner it is so long wearing it is not going to move it doesn't move in the heat it doesn't move through hours and hours and hours of wear it stays where it is. It makes the lid super shiny and reflective and beautiful. And again, I, there was a time there where I would reach for my palettes so much more, but now I'm getting back more into these cream products and using some of these singles more often than I used to. So I just, Bubbly's just always out now and uh, I'm happy that we've been reacquainted. And then the last product, this is one that just, I, you know, when I got to the end of moving and like packing all of my stuff, I tried to be really organized for a while and then towards the end it was just like ah! you're just like throwing everything in that you can and like trying to decide what you'd leave behind because your car is too full you can't take everything like it's very interesting moving your entire life thousands and thousands of miles away like it's uh it's definitely an experience and i think that this one kind of just got tossed on top of of one of like my main makeup bags so when i was unpacking and i found this one it kind of became a go-to primer of mine I think just because it happened to sneak into one of my priority bags, but this is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Okay, so I do like to use this as a primer. I, I typically will use it before makeup versus like skincare where I use it um, as the last step as a moisturizer. It is such a nice product though, and when I started testing all these different skin tints, I I went on like a skin tint tear. This was like my my constant, my, what is it, my control or, or whatnot when I was testing everything. I just kept going back to this one and I was like, why haven't I used this in a while? It's a really nice product. It just kind of preps the skin, makes everything super smooth, super hydrated, just just ready to go for your makeup application. So it's become one of my go-to primers. I still do really like the Urban Decay Gripping Primer and if I'm gonna have, I know if, if I know that I'm having like a long night out, then sometimes I do like to go for that one. But otherwise, if I, especially being in the desert now, I'm constantly trying to make sure my skin is moisturized and hydrated and just doing my best there. So I keep reaching for this one. So I kind of regret that I forgot about it for a hot second there. But again, glad that I have it back in my life. Glad that I'm using it more lately. And after that, those are all of the products that I regret forgetting about. It's my bad. That's my bad. So if you would like to see this video enter into my regret series rotation, please do let me know. Or if there's any other ideas you have just in general or for the regret series, of course, drop them in the comments because I always found it so helpful. And when I saw that comment come in, which was last night, I was like, wait, 
I have to film that video right away. So thank you so much uh, for suggesting this one. Let me know if you have any other recommendations for me. And other than that, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I hope it doesn't look like I've been naked the entire time.